Hello folks, today we're going to show you how to set up your Clean Water Systems Neutralizer 5900 BT system using Calcite. This is how you're going to receive your system. You have your media tank. In this case we're building a one and a half cubic foot system so we have three boxes of Calcite. Your uh, fifth box here will have your control valve, your funnel, um, your gravel to go into the bottom of your media tank and then also uh, we're going to show you a Corosex blend uh, if you have low pH uh, how to mix that as well. So th okay we've got everything unpackaged uh, here's your media tank with your D-tube you have your three bags of calcite your bag of gravel and again if you have the low pH you have a 10 pound bag of Corosex for this particular job, your control valve, your funnels, your bypass valve, your adapters, power supply, lube for the O-rings, and your instruction manual. We also uh, can provide uh, as an option um, an air gap, your drain line, and some flex lines for uh, ease of installation. And as for this, uh, you notice we now have two one-inch threaded pieces here, our inlet and outlet, where we're going to uh, set up our system. Okay, we're going to install our D-tube and um, get prepared to put our uh, media in the tank. Uh, first thing you want to do is verify that your side filler cap is tight. Um, you're going to want to put a wrench on that and just seat the O-ring down. Then uh, on your D-tube, if you have the type that threads on, just make sure it didn't come loose in transportation, that that's tight. And then we're going to go ahead and put our D-tube in. It's very important that your D-tube is flush with the top of the tank. As you can see, it's not seated down in the bottom of the tank right now. So what you can do is give it a little spin, and you saw it drop down, and now it's even with the surface of the tank here. Uh, so you're good to go. Now we have two types of media funnels. There's a blue funnel that has a clear hole through it. And then we have a black one that actually has a little cap right here, a little plug. You'd never want to get media down to your D-tube. So if you use the black funnel, that just fits over like that and it'll cover your D-tube. If you have the blue funnel, however, you're going to need to tape off the D-tube. And you want to remember once this thing is seated, you don't want to pull, ever pull it back up out of the media, so do yourself a favor, give yourself a little buddy tab there on the tape, and that way when you remove it, uh, you can get a good grip on it and pull it off. You don't want to get it to where you could accidentally pull that D-tube up. So then you would just install the funnel like that. But for today's demonstration, we're going to go ahead and use the black funnel. So we just fit that over the D-tube like that, just like that. Okay, so the first thing we want to add to the media tank is your gravel. Um, that's what that looks like. And basically what that's going to do is cover the bottom of that D-tube over the filter housing. So that's the first thing you're going to want to do is just pour the whole bag in. The bags are sized depending on the tank that you have, so you want to add that complete gravel. Okay, before we uh, continue to add our media to the tank, I wanted to explain something. So the amount of calcite that we send you corresponds to the size of tank you have. For most people that have a pH between 6 and 6.9, you would just add the calcite to the system. If, you, if your pH is lower than that, you add a blend of either 10 or 20 percent of the Corosex. The problem is, is it's very important you never fill the tank above two-thirds. If you do this during the backwash, you can actually flow the media back up into your valve and your valve will start leaking. So what I normally do is just divide the tank into thirds and go ahead and give myself a little tape mark. So I know not to fill above that. And the way you can do that too is you can shine a flashlight back to the back side and you can actually see the level. As you use the system over a two months, three month period, 
your media will drop. You'll use up a little bit of your media. So you want every couple months check that and get it back up to the full mark. But never fill above the full mark.